up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. Today I'm going to show you a perfect finisher for a shoulder workout to help take you not just to the end of your workout, but through the end of your workout to that point where we create muscle overload. And that's the most important thing if you're looking to add size. Now, you don't have to be a seismologist to understand this technique because we call this the tremors technique. And no, you don't have to have a, a real background in earthquakes to figure that out. But it actually works very similar to an earthquake and how it affects your muscles. We know that with an earthquake, there's an epicenter, and that's where all the action is occurring. That's where the, the, the brunt of the earthquake is. And then people will still feel tremors around the area of the earthquake, usually a long distance away. Well, we can do the same thing here by actually creating sort of the epicenter in our weakest area of our shoulders. In this case, it's going to most likely be for you your rear delt, your posterior deltoid. So we'll take the weight that we would normally fail in in a 10 to 12 rep range for a bent over lateral raise, okay? That is the guiding weight that we'll use for the rest of this set, this tremor set. And from there, you move then up to a side lateral raise. Well, we know that a properly executed side lateral raise will actually have your arms traveling in a, in a, in a position here, because again, I'll put the whole video out on this if I have to in the future, but the proper position is actually with our thumbs a little higher than our pinkies, not the opposite way around, which will actually get a little bit of external rotation in at the shoulder and still keep some work going in those posterior deltoids. So you're going to still feel a little bit of that tremor in the back even though you've traveled a little bit forward to the medial delt. Then of course once you go to failure there, you're going to now go up to a front raise. And now the front raise we've moved the focus now into the front deltoid, but we're still going to feel a little bit of that tremor carrying through into the side delt and of course all the way back to the rear delt because we haven't rested between any of these legs of this journey. And then finally we go to the all so simple overhead press, except at this point, fourth in the line in our exercises, it becomes pretty damn hard. And yes, guess what? When you do these, you'll start to feel some of those tremors still going on in the backside, all the way back on the uh, other side of your shoulder because of this cumulative fatigue. So I will actually demonstrate it here for you exactly what this looks like in action. We're going to take our dumbbells again. I'm going to use the ones that would allow me to fail in the 10 to 12 uh, rep range on a rear delt fly, okay? So I'll position right here so you can see what's going on. We're just going to come up and back. I'm trying to make almost a W here with my arms. So this, this positioning here, all right, so I get a little bit of that external rotation at the top as well. Go right up now to the sides, right from here and up. And I can feel it in the back too. Ten. Now, up to the front, catch your breath, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, God, nine, ten, One more. Twelve. And now, I'm gonna finish them off with that really light 20 pound overhead shoulder dumbbell press, but it's already killing me to get them in this position right here. And press up. And I can already start to feel that way back in the back of my shoulders as well. And guess what? You rest about 30 seconds, those are 20s. I come back down here, 
I grabbed my 15s, and then I repeat it all over again. And this is your finisher, guys. You go into the last set. I've even performed some where I take my hands and I go through the motion with just as hard a squeeze as I possibly can get through here and the rear delt, uh, up here again for the sides, really trying to squeeze as hard as I possibly could right at the top, then come up to the front here and try to squeeze as hard as I possibly can, and then go back up through the press one more time and squeeze as hard as I possibly can. And I can tell you, right after a hard shoulder workout, it doesn't get any better than that. That is a great way to finish off a high intensity shoulder workout capable of taking you to that next level, capable of producing growth for you. Guys, if you're looking for ways to train intensely in a much shorter period of time, you gotta start be, being willing to trade in some of that workout length for intensity. You can't just keep coasting through your workouts thinking that doing the same thing over and over again is gonna give you better results. Unfortunately, it's gonna get the same results that you've been getting. If you want that jolt, and you're looking for me to coach you through every step of the way, I'll do that. Head to athletics.com, get our athletics training system, and I will walk you through every workout, every technique I've got in the next 90 days. I hope you guys found this video valuable. If you want more like it, let me know. We got finishers for other areas as well. I'll make sure I can bring them back to you here, right here on this channel. All right guys, I'll see you back here soon.